Hi everyone, it's Leanne here from the Jaded Blossom Design team and it's time for their release hop. So I have a quick set of cards today that I'm making with a new stencil called the Spiderweb Stencil. And I'm quickly using the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I'll be doing some blended backgrounds on paper tray ink white cardstock. So the first group of colors I'm using is Wilted Violet with a Tailored Expression Blending Brush. Um, this is sped up to two times just to you know, allow you to see what I'm doing. Um, I also use black soot and twisted citron in this, all using the Tailored Expression blending brushes. Um, I absolutely love, 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 love the Wendy Vecchi Art Make Art Station use, while using your uh, stencils from Jaded Blossom. It's fabulous, it holds them down. I also use some purple tape to hold everything in place and you get smooth, seamless blending. This is Distress Oxide ink, so it's really easy to blend, and I love it. So it's super easy. I'm gonna make four quick backgrounds. The first three are colors that Christina Werner actually came up with um, on her blog. Uh, they're Halloween blends, and I love her blends, you know, and I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna use her blends because I love them so much. So, you know, um, a quick shout out to Christina Werner. Love them, and look how pretty that is. So I quickly clean up in between each one and I tape the stencil down um, with the purple tape. And um, I also use the magnets. So it's kind of like overkill, but trust me, you do not want your stencil to move. You'll see why later because I, I do show you how I had a boo-boo. Um, so you just want to have your paper taped down really securely and do your blending. So my next set of colors that I'm using here is I believe... Um, chipped sapphire. I'm using the ruler there on the one side too, which is awesome. And I'm going to add some more tape for, you know, just to make it all secure. And now I am using um, chipped sapphire, um, black soot, and ripe persimmon. And these are colors I would have never come up with on my own. Christina's Werner is awesome at that, picking out colors. And every time she comes up with a blend, I love it. So, you know, Check out her blog, check out her blends, they're fabulous. So there we are, I'm just putting really uh, a really even coat of this color down. What I end up doing is I do both ends of the cardstock and then I come back and apply the center color and then touch up the two, the top and bottom colors again. Um, and I wipe off any extra ink on, a, on one of those microfiber towels. Um, just, you know, just so the, you know, um, other inks that I'm trying to blend into, like say my orange, you know, doesn't uh, contaminate my orange because, you know, I'm using black in the center. So I just go back and forth and you get a really seamless blend. I have to say, these are super easy to blend. You know, Distress Oxide inks, if you had trouble blending Distress ink, you want Distress Oxide ink because it blends so easily. You know, anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, trust me. So uh, there we go. So I don't know if you're what you think of this new Jada Blossom release. Um, if you're a Halloween person, you're going to love it. I love it. It's adorable. Lots of super cute images. Um, you see there was a couple little drips because I wash off the stencil in between the colors and it was a little bit wet, but you know, you won't see it. So, you know, I kept going. So now this next set of colors are carved pumpkin, forest moss, and black soot. So like I said, I apply it pretty heavily actually, this, this uh, ink. And you know, it blends super easy. I do clean my stencil in between each one because you don't want to contaminate you know, your colors and everything. Um, so that's what I do. So there we are, I'm applying my black soot to the bottom and uh, using my Taylor Expression blending brushes pretty much. Um, I have that one that I use for black soot that is actually not a Taylor Expression blending brush, it's just a blending brush, you can get them anywhere. And that is Forest Moss, now that I'm gonna apply to the middle, which this is definitely a combo I would have never chosen myself. So, you know, awesome that uh, Christina Werner came up with these colors. And it saved me a lot of work. So um, I love making quick cards for Halloween, I like handing them out. I think people are surprised to get them in the mail, you know, because it's fun, right? And whether you're a cutesy person or you like the spooky, you know, usually Jaded Blossom has you covered in both respects. So there we go. I'm peeling it off. So now I go, go and clean that before I start my next one. And isn't that pretty? So I let these dry before I do anything else with them, just so you know. And there's my last one. And this one is Black Soot Seedless Preserves and Dried Marigold. And it's actually a blend I saw on Z Sarah Zoppy's um, Instagram. I think her it's called Purple Onion Design. 
and I really liked these three colors together. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to borrow this too. So, uh, you know, um, a big shout out to Sarah Zoppi from Purple Onion Designs. Great blend. And I thought they looked great together. So basically, you're making your own pattern paper is what's going on here with the stenciling, right? So super easy, super easy peasy to do this. And uh, I think you get some really great cards. I think people are always kind of impressed, you know. But like I said, I, I usually hand out um, Halloween cards because people like them. They're cute. You know, even if they're, you know, uh, I, I kind of go a little bit more cutesy. Every once in a while, I, I throw in a big spooky, but usually it's more cutesy. People like that. Even people that don't particularly love the idea of Halloween, um, they, they tend to like them. So there you go. Isn't that cute? I love these color mixes. So there we are. And basically, I just put that aside, clean up my um, Wendy Make Art station, Wendy Vecchi Make Art station. I just wipe it up and, and I move on. Now I'm using the Halloween label dies. So I've got my um, I've got my Misty out here, and I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Ink, so I get nice sharp images, and I'm stamping it on to my Paper Tray Ink white cardstock. And like I said, this is sped up, so I'm just showing you me stamping one. That is an idea from Jennifer um, McGuire actually using a dry erase board eraser to get even pressure. Works really good, I have to say. So there's my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I'm just giving it one more coat because I want it nice and black. And, um, you know, even pressure. And it turns out great. So I do go ahead and stamp four of those. I don't show it, but I do stamp four. So now I'm going to be cutting out, I basically cut out all my backgrounds using the Octagon dies. That's the largest one. And now I'm also using the two inch scallop die. I cut one out of the, the craft card stock, laid it over so it's perfectly centered. Then I sort of pop it in like a puzzle piece to cut, um, to cut the image behind, see? And then I peel it out and it's all lined up perfectly. So I do that for each one. And I know it seems like a bit of a hassle, but trust me, you want it perfectly lined up and that's the way you get a perfect border every time. You know, I'm just sort of lining it up there. You gotta use your tape, get it centered. But better than wasting a stamping, because it's kind of a pain, you know, getting a perfect image and everything. You don't want to mess up with mess up in the cutting. Because, you know, I've done that a million times. You don't want to do that. It's a big pain in the you-know-what. So here we go. We're going to tape that now. And then you just sort of move your um, die cut around until it pops into place, just like a puzzle. And then you just tape that down and then go ahead and cut it. All my cutting is always done with my Gemini machine. Now... I used Halloween dies and I used Curious um, car curious Translucent Cardstock from CutCardstock.com and it is almost like a vellum but it's it's more grayish toned and I used the Halloween dies from from Jada Blossom and I cut out these spider webs with that translucent paper and I also cut out the neat little spiders with paper tray ink black cardstock. Now my, ba my card bases are all paper tray ink black cardstock all cut at 4.25 by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches for vertical fold cards. And I always use my Teflon bone folder and my Martha Stewart scoreboard to do that. So now I'm applying my backgrounds that I stenciled onto my card bases and I'm gonna try and center them and I'm using my ATG gun. Now this is danger because you know, I'm not the best at centering things and you'll see I mess up, you know, in a little bit. And I did leave it in just so you see me fix it because you know, and it's a good thing that I dub the dub the speaking for this, and I, I, you know, I do a voiceover after because trust me, you did not want to hear me when I stuck it down and I had to peel it up. It wasn't pretty in here; the air was blue. So there we go. I think this is the one that I screw up on. So I get my ATG gun down. I think that it's straight. It is not straight. I push it down. And it's like damn. So I pull it off and look at the mess I made. Rip the back and everything. So I just cut a new front for that card at 4.25 by five and a half and stuck it down on top. No one will know, it's just a little bit thicker. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more ATG tape. And no one knows about the mistake I made, except for me. And of course I have a really hard time getting this one down because it's a bit curled from me pulling it off, right? So now I've got to straighten this out and uh, get it on right for you. This is why I speed up my videos a lot of times because, you know, like I said, I spend a lot of time, you know, farting around with things. Also make sure you're sticking, see the background? That's the one that I messed up and I just flipped it over and used the other side of the cardstock. No one will know. So now I'm sticking that one down. 
And there we go. I've got all my card bases made. So now I'm going to be popping up my little circles with my sentiment on it from, with uh, 3M foam tape. And I'm just popping that up and I'm using the edge of that foam tape to stick down my vellum spider webs. And you see they're kind of almost gray, but they are translucent. So now I'm going to be sticking down my little spiders with um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the little tiny ones. And I'm using my EK Success uh, reverse tweezers to get them in the right place. I want to have it crawling towards the circle is what I was going for. There we go. So I'm going to do that on all four cards. And now basically I've just sped this up. And you'll see me quickly putting them together like the other ones. And, you know, you don't want to watch that. But I thought, eh, I'll keep it in. So now I'm going to be giving putting Google Eyes on these. These are Studio Katia 3mm Google Eyes. And I'm using um, glossy accents to add two little Google Eyes to each spider. And the idea is, is I'm trying to make it a little more cutesy than scary. That's what I'm going for. So a couple of Google Eyes on anything makes it look less threatening. At least I think so. Now I'm using my embellishment wand from Studio Katia to pick those up. Those have that as a wax end. I think that little triangle tray is from them too, which is pretty handy. So now I'm just adding my glossy accents and two dots. Going to add each eyeball. And like this is a super fast and easy card design. And I think it turned out great. You know, only a few boo-boos along the way, but no one will know. Now I'll add white cardstock to the inside of um, these cards. So, you know, I can write to the recipient on them. But, um, you know, because it's, I, I never use, like, I never leave it black and use white gel pen because you got to wait for it to dry. It's a big, it's, it's a whole thing. So I tend to put uh, white cardstock on the inside. I you know, usually use one of Jada Blossom rectangle dies and pop the inside in. Now look at that. Aren't they pretty? I love these blends. They look great. But of course, I'm thinking, mm, it needs something else. It needs my Nouveau Crystal Drops. So let's add some on. So I'm just adding them in groups of um, uneven numbers, you know, straddling the image, straddling the sentiment. Um, you know, no rhyme or reason like usual. Just flying by the seat of, my, seat of my pants here, popping them where they go. But I love Nouveau Crystal Drops. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to notice one of my cards changed. And I'll tell you why, because it actually fell and I smushed my Nouveau Crystal Drops before they were dry. So I had to add another spider and hide them. Um, and, you know, no one will know except for you and me. It just looks like that one has two spiders. But, you know, you can always fix a boo-boo, so don't throw out your card. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and be sure to hop on back uh, or hop on by um, and see all the other design team projects. Um, they will amaze you. There's everybody's... Everyone else on the design team is amazing. So you will be impressed. And I think you need to run and get this Jaded Blossom release now before it sells out. It's so awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. We'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.